Hello everybody, Lynette here again with the Skin Candy. Thank you so much for joining us again today on another one of our Soapy Time Adventures. So today is a remake day. We have had such an amazing response to our solid dishwashing bars that I decided to just make another quick video of me making and pouring them and then unmolding them. This is super simple. It is a super easy recipe for the reason of ingredients. And the reason why I say that is because once this starts going, it gets thick really fast and so you have to move really, really quickly. So if you are new to soaping, then this is a great recipe wise one to play with, but I would recommend you probably use a recipe that maybe just has 100% coconut oil in it or something really similar. Mine has a few different ingredients in it. I actually add olive and rice bran oil to my coconut oil, which my coconut is my, my main ingredient. He's our big player at 84%, I believe. And then I use just a small amount of olive oil and rice bran oil. And then I use stearic acid. And stearic acid is really great in soap because it makes a really nice hard bar. And then with the olive oil and coconut oil in there, it's going to help with a really nice big lather. The other thing that I add for the lather is I do add about two, this is a two pound batch, so I add two tablespoons of just regular granulated, white granulated sugar to my lye solution. And then to this, I've also added two tablespoons of salt. Normally I just add table salt, but I didn't have any in the workshop today, so I actually used some really fine grade sea salt. Never used that before. So we're gonna see what happens, but that also speeds it up as well. So I am gonna be soaping about, I think it's about 100 degrees. Okay, so my oils are at 97. I don't know if you can see that. And my lye solution is about 120. So um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be doing much with the immersion blender. I'm gonna turn it on low though to make sure that it doesn't go too fast. But I may be just hand stirring it in and then pouring it real fast. I have my molds here. These are, this is a sunflower and a dahlia, or dahlia, I don't know how you pronounce that. Every place is different. Mold that I got from, I believe I bought these from Websterant store. Um, I did buy one years ago off of Amazon or from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and these are really pricey on Amazon. So I bought, because I needed so many of them, I bought a ton of them off of Websterant, and I think they ended up being about $6 a piece. So I have my trays stacked here. I'm planning on making three different batches today. I'm going to be doing restocking. I'm literally, I am out of every cent. I am going to be doing today Lavender Eucalyptus, Citrus Splash, and Lavender Eucalyptus, Citrus Splash. Oh, and then I'm going to be bringing in a new fragrance today. I will show you when I get ready to make it. It is a new fragrance that I have been sitting on for quite a while. It is a fragrance by Nature's Garden, and I think it's going to make a fabulous dish soap. So I'm really, really excited for that. So I already have my essential oils measured off. This is, I do a 50-50 blend of lavender and eucalyptus. It smells amazing. Oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna make four batches. I have to do lemon eucalyptus too. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of soap today, wow. Okay, so we're gonna be making a lot of batches of soap today. And I'm not gonna drag you along for all of it, but I just wanted to have you guys see the process again. I do have several other videos out there that of my, of making them, um, I will put them up somewhere in the corner here. You'll see a link. If you wanna watch this, I have some super shorts that are about less than three minutes long. And this one is not going to be that short, but it will be a little bit shorter, but I am gonna try to squeeze several batches into one video. So, I think we're ready to go. So without further ado, let's get soaping.
Okay, we're back for the third batch and I screwed up on the other two batches royally so I am not even quite sure what to do so in reading my recipe I added as much olive oil as I did coconut oil Coconut oil is 85%, olive oil is 6%. So I now have 79% more about that than I needed. So this was a 0% super fat. So there's going to be a lot of unsaponifiables. And I am not quite sure if that is even going to work. So. I may have to hot process that and make some very rustic looking soap bars tomorrow. Okay, well, I guess we just deal with what we have. I'm not even quite sure what to do, but there's nothing I can do. Anyway, third batch. I'm going to be doing a new fragrance. Um, it's one I've been holding on to for a while, and I decided today's the day. And it is coriander and salted olive. Now, this is a fragrance by Nature's Garden, so I don't have enough mold. I thought I did, but I guess I don't. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to make the rest of the batches, but... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put six in here, and then I'm actually going to fill these up. Mm, little piece of paper. Fill these up to four ounces each, which is the size of these. Then I'll just offer them on the website that they can have them like this and then they can get the refills. Same thing. So that's what I'm going to do. Coriander and salted olive. To my lye water, I have added two tablespoons of sugar, which helps with the bubbles, two tablespoons of salt, which helps with the hardness, and two tablespoons or two teaspoons of sodium lactate, which help with the getting them out of the silicone mold. It also helps with hardness. Um, also, the reason why it has a little skin, a little bit of a kind of lie lint on top or a little skin on top is because one, it's gotten cooler in here. It's currently 66 degrees in my studio, which I love. I love the colder weather. But this is also, um, I also used sea salt in this instead of regular table salt. So we're gonna see how that works. Maybe it'll be dumb. Maybe it'll be horrible. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a lot of... In fact, I'm not even going to use this for at least a few minutes to see how everything sets up. I'm just going to use my whisk to put that in. So I'm going to put in my lye water first. Then I'll put in my... Um, oh, I guess I'm putting my lye water in. <laughs> I'm going to put my lye water in first and then my fragrance. So without further ado, let's get soaping.
All right, so these are the salad dish soap bars in the coriander and salted olive. Tomorrow, which will be one second for you, we will be back and I'll do some unmolding. Of course, I won't unmold these. These I actually ended up putting more in. Um, I ended up putting about five ounces in each one. It just four ounces in there just just seemed too small for me, and I like to be able to give my customers extra. So we'll be back tomorrow, and we'll unmold those, and we might have more to unmold if I can find more molds to put soap in, but probably not. So until then, we will see you later. Bye. Hello, everybody. We're back to unmold these dish soaps. So. These are the coriander and salted olive. <clears throat> it's actually been a couple of days. And so we'll just go ahead and mold these. And like I said before with these ones, these ones will come like this. They don't come out, but then you'll be able to put this in as a refill. And they are about the same weight. This is a little bit more in there because I wanted it to reach the, kind of the top but with the refills, that's okay. I am really excited about this. These smell so good. It, you, you can get kind of a, I don't know, like there is some, like an olive, but it's a real clean smell. It's like a spa scent. So I think it's gonna be amazing, amazing. In a dish uh, for dishes, and I think it would be amazing in like a like a massage bar, a wa everything. I I could even smell it. Use it for a candle or a wax melt. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my battery went out. I have a brand new camera. It's less than a year old, and the battery doesn't last very long. So of frustrating to pay all that money for a camera the minute the battery lasted less than an hour anyway so we just unmolded the coriander and salted olive it was amazing these not so much so if you remember I told you confessed deep darkest secret so I apologize there's a cord in the way I, I wanted to get this recorded and Board. I have to plug it in to get it charged because I don't have an extra battery. Sorry. Anyway, how I was telling you that I accidentally used too much oil, that I did the same amount of olive oil as I did coconut oil, and they didn't work. So these are the lavender and eucalyptus, which they did, they did turn out a little bit harder, but you can see the indentation. These should be rock solid, rock hard right now, and they're not. So, and when I pick them up, they are just almost melting in my hand. So they are completely saponified, but they're just the, the amount of super fat in them and the unsaponified oils is making it really sticky and tacky. So I am going to have to rebatch all of these I need to figure out, whoop, there goes my cord again. I'm gonna have to figure out what I did, like how much of the rest of the materials I need to use to make up for how much olive oil I put in there, which this is gonna be a lot of math. So, unfortunately, they turned out beautiful. They look amazing, but they're very, very soft which means I cannot sell these even in six weeks. They won't even be made. Um, some of these other ones, the this is, so this was the lavender eucalyptus, and I can also tell by the color. You can kind of see the difference in color. These ones are a little bit more yellow than these ones right here. But these ones actually turned out even softer, which I'm not sure why. Probably because the, um, well, citrus will loosen the batch a little bit. So that one's even more soft, is even softer, more soft. And then I have one more. So we made three batches. We made a lavender eucalyptus, we made a citrus eucalyptus. 
lavender eucalyptus, we made a citrus eucalyptus, and then we made the coriander and olive, that's right. When I get ready to rebatch these and I figure out all the math, I will bring you guys along with me. This video has not turned out the way I wanted it to. The soap has not turned out the way I wanted it to. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. I do try to upload a video every Thursday. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye, guys.